difficult for him, but uh, it, it's going to be one of these guys, world champion. Maidov of Serbia has had an amazing run through. I really, I don't know who's going to do it, really. It's, uh, you know, whoever wins out of these two. I'm going to put my money on Nemanja Maidov, who from this, this morning was chatting with Paul Nelson about just how good he looked. And Paul Nelson also said that from what he'd seen, he liked the look of Nemanja Maidov. Vladimir Nutsubidze is the referee in the middle for this one. Here is Neil Adams with commentary. Well, Maidov, here he comes. Looks kind of pumped up for this, doesn't he? New world champion of Serbia. And if you were a betting man, you wouldn't have uh, put your money on that as a final this morning. Slovenians will have put their hopes on Tina Turstenjak yesterday. And even, I don't know, you'd have to be, you know, super confident in your country to have put your money on Skank. But there he is. Anybody's matched this, and uh, I think uh, Maidov, like you say, just looked that little bit uh, more focused, more of an edge to him, but uh, you never know. Now he's got the sleeve. They've got nothing to lose, these two. They can just take it to each other. He was looking for the Cian Aggie there, wasn't he, straight away. Any result here is a massive achievement, but the gold is just beyond belief. Well, it will be, and Skank, of course, he must uh, play second fiddle to Kukolj all the time. Now looking for the double lapel. Is it going to happen? Well, the gripping, they've got all of their fingers taped up, but I bet they'll be aching in the morning, these two. Aching but happy. Still, neither one of them put a big attack in yet. Yoko Tomanagi. Might have there. Just committing, just managed to break his balance. I think once that first half of the contest is out of the way, you'll see Maidov a step up a gear. That's been his uh, modus in his, pre in his previous contests. Get in there, get comfortable, find out about the grips, and then say, okay, from here, I know I've got two minutes in me, let's go. I'm wondering if they're both gonna get it. Well, no, only Skank gets it for blocking out. So Mayadov is the one that they uh, think is trying to initiate. So we've gone for the leg then. Well, neither one of these wants to take the chance. Talking to Ilias Iliadis yesterday, and he said, I just wish they'd take the chance, hope they take the chance, whoever it is. Drop Cian Aggie, no rotation. Maidov hasn't been able to uh, break Skank down yet to find an opening and really and really threaten him. That's all credit uh, Skank to having a good, uh, a good defense. But it's because he's not moving him. Now they're starting to open up. I think Skank just got uh, a whiff of that. He knew that he, he might be in danger of getting penalised again. Yeah, maybe he's feeling that change in the tempo from uh, Maidov. 
and can't afford to fall behind. He doesn't want to pick up another penalty. Well, that's the first time that someone's looked as though they were in danger. Skank, however, lost contact with the hands and Maidov just sat down on his backside. 40 odd seconds left to go. Yeah, it was a nice coachy action reaction at its best. <laughs> 35 seconds left then in this final under 90 kilograms. Makikomi this time from Skank, and now is that going to be? Is it across Already, the face? Yeah. It was across the face. Already spotted by the referee. This will be the first ever gold medal for Slovenia in the men's, that's for sure. First ever for Serbia. Never before have they got a gold medal in the World Championships. The golden score. So a tight match, straight on with it. That's the referee just wants them to get on with it, and this is whoever wants it most. Now Mayadov out the area. It's going to be a penalty for Maidov. Maidov gets the penalty. Now starting to open up. This could go either way, couldn't it? Absolutely. Finely balanced contest, <laughs> to say the least. Oh, he ducked underneath. He ducked underneath. Referee, I'll stop this and he'll have a little look here. Video referee to see who actually initiated that duck under. Doesn't look happy about it, does he, Maidov? He knows where this one is going. Yeah, I'm not so sure. Uh, I'm not sure who ducked under there, actually, to be quite honest. Zank. And he can ducked under. Maidov wins it. He's the world champion. Well, we're lucky to have in the venue the big screen. We were talking about the whistles and the, and the booze. We've got a, a few of them because they haven't seen uh, the, the, the replay yet. Once the replay goes up, it becomes clear why the penalty has been given. They haven't done that yet. The two fighters are done. They're dusted. They're happy with it. Could have gone either way. They're having a nice conversation. They're OK. And it's when the fighter is in the middle and there's no controversy that...